Hey guys, I've got a pretty good collection of balance and ununs. Everything from a one to one balance to a 49 to one unun. Because I love to build antennas and I've just kind of acquired them and, and put the entire collection together. You know, I built an antenna recently using the X10. And it, it's a pretty cool transformer. It switches between 49 to one, 56 to one, and 64 to one. And uh, I wasn't completely convinced on that antenna. Maybe it was the propagation of the day. I do like the transformer. I've used it, man. I've even traveled over to Poland with it and back. And that's a great little transformer. But I said in that video, I wanted something, a 64 to one on a standalone that I could, you know, build something that could handle 100 watts. Now, so I, I went on a search, looking through a lot of different places. Amazingly, I found something on Amazon. Yeah, it's inexpensive. It was $35 US. And uh, it, this is it. It was the 64 to 1. It's obviously made in China. I like it because it's self-contained because I operate on the beach and I like something self-contained. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, why don't you just get a spark plug antenna? Actually, I have the spark plug antenna, but I have the lower power version of that. And I know that one is a six, 64 to 1 as well. This one, it says it is made by BH7JYR. I tried to find some uh, information on the builder or whatever. It couldn't. So um, $35 on um, uh, on Amazon. Uh, who knows? It, it could be good. It, maybe it's not. But we're going to try it. I'm also going to use, um, I, I know I could use the 22 gauge wire that I used on the this antenna I built before. I have it bagged and ready to go. But I'm going to use some 16 gauge uh, speaker wire, a little bit thicker, heavier wire uh, for this 100 watt uh, antenna I'm going to build. And what I'm going to build is the same infed antenna that I made. It's basically a half wave for 17 meter band. So it's a in infed antenna. 25.81 feet. I think that's like 7.87 meters, almost eight meters long. I'm going to put it up on a pole and uh, and try it in the same location I was at before. I'm at Ocean View, the Ocean View Beach here in Norfolk, Virginia, or as we call it, the OV. Um, I love this beach just because I can pull right up and look out the window of the Jeep here in the wintertime and stay inside, put the antenna out there and, and build this thing. I mean, now this isn't the uh, greatest beach in my area. We have hundreds of miles of beaches. I just love the fact that I can pull right up and look right out at the beach and still sit here inside the Jeep. So I'm going to put this antenna up and uh, we'll see how it goes. Stick around. Oh wow, beautiful morning. Okay, here's the antenna. Um, get asked about that a lot. That's a piece of two inch, basically 50 millimeter PVC pipe. I've got it driven down to maybe even a meter deep. It's probably another, I don't know, three quarters of a meter uh, above the ground. I slide my uh, 10 meter DX Commander Expedition pole on top of it. I just take the bottom uh, cap off the bottom, slide it right on. Okay, so here we go up to the antenna here. Um, there is the unun, the 64 to one unun. Uh, I got a tape to the pole. And then about every meter or so up on the pole is uh, the 16 gauge wires taped to the pole. So pretty nice day out here today. It has been so windy lately. It rained all day yesterday. But that is uh, the Atlantic Ocean way out over there. This is the Chesapeake Bay. This is where the Chesapeake Bay uh, goes into the Atlantic Ocean. So this is it. And um, I'm going to get this antenna. What I did was, yes, there is no counterpoise. The uh, coax, as you know, on a half wave antenna is going to basically be the counterpoise. I've got it down and then down here to the Jeep. So there we go. Beautiful morning. And I am ready to play some radio with this 64 to 1 unun antenna. And here's the SWR sweep for uh, for 17 meters. Not bad. Not bad at all. And here's the sweep for 12 meters. So I uh, could get away without a tuner. Uh, it, with this, with these two bands, and it's really what I originally designed the antenna for. Was it was supposed to be a half wave antenna for 17, and slightly over five eighths, uh, not exactly five eighths, but but in that neighborhood for 12 for the walk band. So there you go. Um, I'm pleased with this. 
Now let's get uh, everything else set up. And here's the setup today. Uh, 100 watts with the Yaesu FT891 and um, powering it with my LiPo 4 20 amp hour uh, battery there. And um, secret weapon down here, I have my auto tuner. I'm gonna, I've got the uh, LDG AT100 Pro 2 auto tuner for everyone that always asks, this thing is being powered by the cigarette lighter. Uh, people do ask why I use the battery here. Um, I like to uh, kind of simulate what it's like if I was out on the beach and uh, in which I will be soon as the weather's starting to warm up a little bit. But um, here we go. This is uh, what we're going to do with 100 watts. And uh, let's go see if we can have a better day today than we did last week as far as DX to Europe is concerned. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Kilo 4. Yes, Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. Beautiful job, a fantastic uh, uh, DX, my friend. Uh, good afternoon, uh, good, uh, good evening. Your signal is a 5 and 7. Very good at your speaker, Roger, Roger. Roger, Roger, your 5'7 as well. Very good signal. I am portable I, on the beach in Virginia. 100 watts with a Yesu FT891 and a vertical half wave antenna for a 17 meter band. Ah, uh, beautiful uh, uh, watch. Uh, right there. Uh, very beautiful. Congratulations. Security X, Security X, India Sugar Zero, Delta Charlie Romeo, Security X. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, Roger. Roger, Roger, you are 5'9 um, on the beach in Virginia. Very lovely signal here, 5'9. Okay, sorry, I have a okay, I'm probably in the lock. Kilo 4, Oscar, uh, Golf, Oscar. Uh, okay, Walter, you are 5 or 5, 5 or 6 at the moment, 5, 5 to 5 or 6. Now. The name here is Ivan India Victor Alpha Nancy in North Sardinia, Roger. Okay, bam and bam, 12 meters and 17 meters. Exactly what I designed this antenna for. Both worked well, good signal reports. Looked like I was getting out 100 watts as I was modulating there, so... Perfect. That's what I designed this antenna for. Now, I'll tell you what I did next. I went and uh, tried to tune 10 and 15, and I could not get either one of them to tune. I did get it to tune on 20 and made a contact down to Puerto Rico, a beaches on the air contact. But I noticed as I was uh, talking, um, I wasn't getting uh, half. I, I, I really wasn't getting much out. Wasn't a really good signal report. And uh, too bad. It was a really cool beaches on the air contact on 20 meters. So, It'll tune 20 meters, um, and, and I could, it'll work, I guess you could say, but this antenna is doing exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to work well on 17 and 12, the WARC bands, and it is. And I'm going to get back on those bands right now and try to make some more contacts. Yeah, hi again, Walt. Nice to see you. We have spoken before on 10, by the looks of things. I guess you probably don't have a long with you there, but uh, you're about a 5 and 3. I'm... Uh, north of Inverness, uh, and my name is Clive, Charlie Lima, India, Victor, Echo, over. Yes, Clive, looks like we spoke back in November. Hey, good to get you in the log here on 12. I, I really like 12 meters, and uh, like I said, your your audio is just wonderful, superb here today. Um, I'm sitting, uh, I'm right at the beach here in Virginia, portable, 100 watts with a Yesu FT891 and a vertical in the air. So thanks for coming back to me. I won't hold you. I know there's others that are trying to get in touch with you, but uh, thank you so much. All the best in 73, my friend. Okay, well, nice to see you again. You enjoy your day on the beach there, and uh, we'll speak again, hopefully. k 4 O G O M M one Y A M. Thank you. Auto for Radio 100, Papa Echo. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Oh, uh, the K4, K4, please. K4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Oscar, Golf, Oscar, thank you. Five and five. QSL, you're five, five into Virginia. Thanks a lot, and uh, please call us on the other band. This is Delta Radio 100, Papa Echo calling 12 meters. A kilo station, the stage station, looking for stage at this moment. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Kilo 4, Oscar, uh, Golf, Oscar. Uh, you have 5 and 8, 58, Roger. Roger, Roger, the name is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. You're 5757, five, I'm portable on the beach. 
uh, 100 watts with an FT891, and I have a vertical half wave for 17 meters on a, on a pole. Yeah, Roger. Uh, you're 5, 725, and 2, uh, with uh, QSP. Fire, uh, signal for your 100 watts and the vertical antenna. Yes, uh, 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 thank you uh, for coming back to my call. Uh, all, uh, wish you all the best and uh, many good reacts. Uh, Kilo 4, Oscar Gold for Oscar. OE4 MSP, Mike Pekin for the final. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, QRL, QSL, QSL, you're up uh, 5, 9, 10 over into Virginia. I'm portable on the beach in Virginia. Beautiful signal from you today. Rogers for Virginia. Five, for me, 59 plus 5. The name is Christian in Belgium. 18 kilometers from Bristol, capital. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar. Oscar, November 4, Lima Alpha, November, Christian the name. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf, Oscar, 5-9, Tendenus John, Juliet, Oscar, Norway, good morning. Uh, good morning, the name here is Walt, Whiskey Alpha, Lima Tango. You are 5-9 as well into Virginia. I'm portable on the beach with 100 watts in Virginia. Okay, Walt, from Virginia. One kilowatt and four element Yagi. Send for contact on 12 meters. Bye bye, Wolf. Yeah, hang up, got it that time. Uh, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. And uh, Mike and me is your old Tango and me a Papa returning. Him as tight as William. But uh, we're located in Belfast City in Northern Ireland. I'm going to give you a report on me over there. Go ahead. Uh, QSL, William. Uh, the name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. Um, you're about a 5'5", five, 5'5", five, five, five here. I am portable on the beach in Virginia, uh, 100 watts with a vertical wire there. Thanks for coming back to me. That's your sailor. You're 5'5", five, five and 5'5", five, five and 3, 5'5", five, 5'3". Five, 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 we'll give you 5 and 5 uh, on the beach. Uh, yes, no problem at all. Uh, certainly do the job on your antenna. Okay, I enjoyed that. Um, I really like the antenna. I go back now to my original design plans for a, uh, a Walkman antenna, and um, this one does the trick. I, I think theoretically 12 is not supposed to do as well as it does. Um, I, maybe you need to model this thing and look at it, but um, yeah, it worked well. It, it, the, the SWR was there. Everything was there for it. I could use this antenna without a tuner for sure. Speaking of tuners, I think... Um, a lesson learned for me today is I'm getting out here and what I've been doing the last couple times out is using the FT891, the 100 watt radio, and trying to make my, force myself to kind of use resonant antennas or to work harder at making an antenna resonant and, um, and, and experiencing, you know, testing that out a little bit. I think I get a real, don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the Zygu G90, and I love the, a, a, the reason is the tuner, the ATU inside the radio, but I think it kind of gives me a, a, a little bit of a, a false sense of uh, accomplishment or whatever with some of these antennas because it'll tune anything, and I saw today with the, uh, the LDG, it's a great tuner as well. Uh, but, um, yeah, it struggled with, uh, with those kind of way out there, uh, uh, antennas. Like, like I said, with 10 and 15, it didn't want to tune it and like, uh, 20 it tuned, but I could, I could see on the radio. I just wasn't really, uh, putting any power out there. So, um, that was a good lesson learned for me. I enjoyed it. I really did. Um, I will try this antenna some more. Uh, and I should say that, that the Unun some more, maybe with some different wires. But um, all in all, it performed well. I don't know if it's well built on the inside, as it looks like it feels like a tank on the outside. So um, pretty cool for thirty five bucks. I, I, I uh, will add it to the arsenal now, and uh, and as my collection of transformers there for sure. But um, had a blast. This was a fun one. I like it when I go, you know, I had some doubts the last time I was out with this antenna that I kind of dreamt up. I had some doubts that it was the antenna itself and, uh, and, uh, kind of trying it now, different transformer, different configuration, uh, different amount of power or whatever. Um, it, it worked well and I, and I had a good time with it. It was, it was wonderful. It really was. If you like HF radio as much as I do, and I absolutely love HF, it's my part of the hobby that I just thoroughly enjoy, um, please like and subscribe. I like to get out, play with radios, play with different antennas, 
operate portable. Yeah, I know I'm by the beach a lot. Well, because I live by the beach. I mean, if you live by the beach, you would probably go out by it and operate too. Um, why, why drive the old beat up car when you can drive the fast one? You know what I'm saying? And that's where I'm at on the beach with the, uh, with all the conditions, the best I can make them and, and, and the best they could be. So anyway, if you like that, please like and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. All the best, my friends. 73.